In this video, we will try to understand what is the software that we need to download. I'm here on the Adobe website on the ColdFusion 2016 product page. And if I scroll down this page a little bit, you will see that there are two editions of ColdFusion. You have the Enterprise Edition and you have the Standard Edition. If you want to see the differences between those two editions of ColdFusion, you can click on the Buying Guide link, which is here in the top right corner of the page, and you will find a feature matrix that compares the Enterprise and the Standard Edition of ColdFusion 2016. You can see that the Enterprise Edition has a few more features than the Standard Edition. But let's return to the main product page of ColdFusion, because if I keep scrolling down a little bit, well, I will find a third edition of ColdFusion, which is the ColdFusion Developer Edition. The ColdFusion Developer Edition is a free version of ColdFusion. It's a free version of ColdFusion Enterprise. But there is one key difference between the regular ColdFusion Enterprise and the Developer Edition. The Developer Edition can only be accessed from your local host, so from the computer on which you will install it, and from two remote IP addresses only. So this makes it suitable for a development environment, but you cannot use the developer edition in production. So the idea is for you to download the free developer edition to develop your applications, and then you will host your finished applications on fully licensed enterprise or standard ColdFusion servers. Now, I will scroll back up this page because there is a third member of the ColdFusion family, and that is Adobe ColdFusion Builder. So I will click on Learn More to reach the ColdFusion Builder product page. ColdFusion Builder is an IDE. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Basically, ColdFusion Builder is a code editor that you will use to write your ColdFusion code. Now, you can use any code editor you want to write ColdFusion code. If you are used to Sublime Text, Notepad++, or Brackets, feel free to use those code editors instead. In this course, we will use ColdFusion Builder because it is the only professional IDE designed for professional ColdFusion authoring right from the start. ColdFusion Builder is built on top of the free open source Eclipse IDE. When you download ColdFusion Builder, it comes with a developer edition of ColdFusion Server already pre-configured in the package. So this is what you will download. You can click on the free trial link here in the top right corner of this page to start your 60 days free trial of ColdFusion Builder. At the end of the 60 days trial, ColdFusion Builder will still be functional, but some features will be deactivated. So make sure you download the free trial of Adobe ColdFusion Builder before moving on to the next video where we will actually install Adobe ColdFusion and Adobe ColdFusion Builder.